Hello, this is Double A, Albert Gurdier, with another video. This isn't going to be a super card video because I know most of you people might know me from that. It's going to be one of my slam and snaps. This video is where I discuss something in gaming that I know I come across that I've seen in other games too, and it's regarding ads. I'm going to give you a little diagram real quick here. Hopefully, this comes in clear on your end. But say, for instance, you have in this exists it's super card. They are the game that you're playing, and along the along the exterior, you have pancake people, um, staple people, people that sell exclamation points, question marks, periods, etc., etc. They're seeing how well you're doing on your. They see how well you're doing, so they want to see about possibly getting some of your audience over to them. So you're spending people. So you're spending money on them. So as so, if you're playing, you don't want to pay. You see an ad, so you see something from the pancake people or the staple people or etc. And their hope on the exterior is that by viewing the ad, you come to them to spend money. They're paying SuperCard so that they can lose a little bit of audience, so they gain a little bit and then spend money on their end. They're not paying for you to play. They're not paying for you to enjoy the game. They're basically paying for the exposure so that you then go over them and spend money. Now, <clears throat> thing is, there are people on Supercart and other games that I've seen that say, hey, why don't you do Unlimited? I mean, you're making your money. I mean, why should it matter? Why should it matter that you're making your money from all these people that are paying for that? Thing is, Supercart's not paying this. The exterior people, and they're not going to pay for you to enjoy someone else's product. Their main goal is to pay for you to come over to them and spend money on them. It's all about ad clicks and conversions. You, it's like you view the ad, they see their numbers. You're viewing, they see people that are watching those ads and say to themselves, Oh, this got to be working. But the thing that really shows how well it's working is the conversion with that. You see the game, you say, hey, this is cool, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to take a look at it, I'm going to play it, I'm going to spend some money there as well, and therefore you have two companies making money. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for all you people out there that are saying, what's a matter of Supercard? It's not a matter of what it matters to Supercard, it's what a matter is to all these other ad providers that are spending money to basically draw you over to them. When I do this video, I'm not paid by anybody. I'm not endorsed by anybody. It's just common sense. Myself, for instance, I'm, I'm doing a YouTube video. I pay for YouTube Red on a regular basis. <coughs> me. YouTube Red is a service that you put some money in and you never have to worry about ads. You don't even have to worry about it. You click on your video. It starts. You play it. You move on to the next one. You're not... You're not interrupted by, by brokerage information or printer information or whatever information they had people sell because you basically paid for that right to eliminate that. And that's kind of what this process is as well. If you don't want to see the ads, if you don't want to give those other people money, that's fine. But basically there will be, basically you would have to contribute some funds to avoid that altogether. So... If, say for instance, like on Supercard, you pay for, you buy your credits, and you play your game, you use every move that they give you, every doubler, every whatever whatever it is that applies to the game that you play, you use those, you never have to worry about ads. On other games, I see a thing that's like, it's called Tab Joy. Basically, if you want to earn something for that, you click on one of their advertisers, you follow their you follow their instructions. Sometimes it's a matter of getting information. Sometimes it's a matter of playing to get to a certain point, giving attention to them, so that you then get the coins that you want. It's not, it's not a it's not a free situation. You do have to give a bit of time up for that, or give up whatever that offer is to take advantage of that. So for those of you that say, "Oh, what's the matter, SuperCard? They're getting their money." It's not about SuperCard. It's about all these other ad providers that put in for you to go see them and give your money to them. So, 
yeah, it's business. It's a business one on one. Everyone's making money. Everyone wants to make money, so they find ways of having symbiotic relationships with other businesses and other clients to make that happen. So if this doesn't make you think any differently that you think that you should have a false sense of entitlement to basically things that you think that are afforded to you that you deserve i'm sorry i i really have no apologies for that well i have no apologies for that feeling that you have because that's yours it's false that's why it's called the false sense of entitlement so <coughs> excuse me so hope you take away something from this people are in the business for me for for the money aspect so, and without them, there's no way that certain things be possible. I mean, you may be paying more for what you normally would have got already. So, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, feel free to drop some below. I don't think this is going to give me a whole bunch of likes. But I hope it makes you think a little bit. For those of you that are doing it already that don't really have an issue with the one way or the other that realize the understandings of how business works, then hey, everything's cool. We come to we have a respect we have a respect here. For those of you that still think that you're owed something for nothing, I can't apologize for that. I really can't. So until next time, this is Albert Gurrier. Stan Synapsis saying see you next time. So long from ringside. Goodbye everybody.